Uh, I'm not very comfortable being shot on the profile. It is infuriating. <laughs> it's infuriating. <laughs> yeah. And why is it infuriating? I just, no, I just, I hate it. Maybe that's what irritates me. I'm not only in front of one camera, I'm in front of two cameras. I like being behind the camera. My father being a film distributor was absolute heaven. Before going to school and after going to school, all we did was sit in movie halls. I was watching Hindi films and once a week uh, in Amritsar, where I was born and I grew up, they'd have uh, what they'd call Western films. Blue Hawaii was my first Hollywood film. <laughs> Strange films, but it was good fun. I make very few films in Canada. I was born in India, I went to university there, my family still lives there. But there's something about Canada which is really physical space, um, emotional space. It's not, it, it gives me room to breathe. Canada has its own values, which are very different from the values I grew up with. And I like that conflict as well. You'll never find an actor who doesn't want to rehearse. And basically, it's the actor and, and the director. You don't need anything else. I mean, we rehearse for at least three or four weeks. I mean, that is a given. I mean, the last thing I want is to, you know, be on, on the set and somebody say, but what's my motivation, Deepa? You know, so forget it. You better know your motivation before you come here. 15 years ago, a wonderful theater director in India, she said, read the Natya Shastras, you know. I've never been the same again. The Natya Shastras are a text that are about 2,500 years old, 8,000 pages long or something, basically about what is good entertainment and the importance of entertainment. Laughter, love, anger, bravery, nine pure emotions. The ninth one is the one that sort of binds them all together, and it's a grid. And, uh, and the middle, uh, the, the center grid is silence. So what we do is take a whole room and draw with a chalk the eight boxes and have each box represent each emotion. And then it's very easy for the actors to actually walk through with their lines and interpret it through every different emotion. And maybe put one foot in bravery and one foot in cowardice. And how would you say your line then? One in hatred and one in love. Or one without saying anything. Art is political. We all know that. And it should be. But it has to be about a story. It has to be about real people within that story that are maybe dealing with an issue. It has to be honed in and represented by something that is living, breathing, that, that talks, that stops, that decides to sit in a corner and weep. Issues are boring. Feelings are important. <laughs> 